Good morning from Let Us Eat. I'm Suzanne Ridgway. Welcome to my channel. This morning, I am going to be prepping into my crock pot my sticky ribs. Put you down there. I have my crock pot liner. I'm going to insert right into the crock pot. I have my cutting board here. I'm going to start by taking my potatoes. My children don't like barbecue sauce, so I will be putting theirs separate in the oven. Just going to cut the little bumps off of it. I always have my garbage bowl in my sink to collect all the canned goods and everything that I wash and recycle. This was mentioned in last night's video, which was beef stew. So please view that one. I use the McCormick's beef stew mix. Very thinly cut the little sprouts off of them. I don't normally peel my potatoes unless they're mashed. Okay. I'm going to take them and I'm going to cut them. Plop them into the crock pot. This is another dump and go meal. I'm doing my semi-homemade barbecue sticky ribs. Good. I am going to rinse the cutting board before I do my onion. I got a nice medium sized onion. I'm going to peel. I just cut the ends off and then I slit it to give it a peel. First two thin air layers and peel and discard into your garbage bowl. And I'm going to cut it in half. If I don't always need the extra half, so I save it for tomorrow's dish. Tomorrow, I'll be roasting a chicken. Which I have done before. And I'll link that video to this one as well in my description box. I did a menu planning while you're quarantined and how to prep right from your freezer and pantry, what to write down. I will link that as well in my description box. I'm going to get my pizza slicer to mince it just a little more. Pizza slicer is very useful if you have children that don't like crust. You can slice the crust off with it and make those homemade uncrustables.
Get my hands rent. If you're new to my channel and you like the recipe, please go ahead and like it and subscribe. Want to grow my family? And even if you're on Facebook, you can go to Let Us Eat with Suzanne Ridgway on Facebook and join my group. I teach menu planning, simple prep for cooking. I do soups, stews, and sauces. I'm going to start by emptying out this leftover barbecue sauce. If you remember from my other video, I had a hard time opening it. I'm going to tap it. That's free is usually stuck to the side of the bottle and difficult to get out. That's enough of that. Nothing else has been come out of it. I'm going to attempt to open the new one. Take the knife. Kind of cut around the label. couple of taps and it should pop open sometimes they're stubborn I'm gonna take the barbecue sauce I'd say about a cup and a half to two cups from the bottle I'm gonna take a tablespoon of ketchup I always eyeball it and a tablespoon of garlic tablespoon of fresh black cracked pepper I am building my uh, semi homemade barbecue sauce I put the onions into the crock pot instead of the bowl I'm going to add about a half a cup of sugar And I'm going to put two teaspoons of pickle juice for tang. I'm going to take the wooden spoon and mix it well. A little taste. Just a little bit more garlic. About a teaspoon. And about a teaspoon of the fresh black cracked pepper. I'm going to wash my hands and rinse my meat. These are my pork, uh, beef ribs, not pork, but beef. I'm going 
going to take the ribs, season them with about a tablespoon of fresh black cracked pepper. I said tablespoon in case you didn't hear. About a tablespoon of garlic. I always eyeball it. I'm going to put these right into the crock pot. My daughter's I will wrap because she does not like barbecue sauce. Neither of my kids like tomatoes too much, but my youngest does like ketchup, which is strange to me. Because it's kind of the same thing. I'm going to season hers with garlic. And black pepper. And if it does get on hers, I just rinse it off. And she'll eat it anyway, as long as it's not overbearing it. That down there, underneath all that. Okay, wipe my hands. Done with the plate. I'm a little tired this morning. I recovered from my headache yesterday. Take your barbecue sauce and dump it into the crock pot. Put that in the bowl in the sink there and kind of spread it all around. I'm going to add just a little bit of water to the bottom so the potatoes will cook and not burn. And I usually do about a quarter of a cup. I've got my measuring cup here. I'm going to put the quarter of a cup in, and then you cover it and set it to low. And let it simmer all day. This is my crock pot sticky ribs with semi homemade barbecue sauce. My recipe will be in the description box below. If you like this recipe, please like my video, give it a thumbs up, please subscribe and tap the bell for future notifications, and thank you for watching Let Us Eat. This is what my barbecue ribs look like with my semi-homemade barbecue sauce that you watched me build in the video. Very easy to do with stuff that you should already have in your pantry. And at this time, if you liked my recipe, please like it. Please subscribe and tap the bell for notifications to get my other videos that I upload on a regular basis. I'm going to be doing some cleaning later today, which I'll be filming because it's the end of the weekend and our district is open. So I want to get the house cleaned and wiped down for the new week next week. And have a great day.